Big U had the, the gang peace march, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I remember when Big U was here, we talked about the rolling 60s A Trey gangster, you know, war. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'd have to call it that. You would. Uh, that had been going on for like 40 years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the. The start of it is kind of fuzzy. We talked about it a little bit. I guess someone got killed and, you know, that sort of started to kind of escalate. There was a war that was happening. Mm -hmm. You know, like the, you know, you, you always hear about the, the, the war with the A-Tre that goes back like 30 years. Right. And I read about the, the origins of that, of that whole mm -hmm. beef. And I guess a fight happened, someone got killed and the other side wanted payback and that didn't happen and then 30s or 40 years now that's been happening yeah it's um <laughs> you're talking about multi-generational well, 40 years multi-generational beef mm -hmm. that started with someone that people probably have never even met at the, right. you know didn't didn't even know these days have no idea who that is and so forth you're talking about 40 years ago you know you're fighting someone over a situation you probably don't even know any of the people involved in. No. You know, you're not sure, but you're, you know, you're referring to this person as an enemy that you're not totally sure why they're an enemy. But, mm -hmm. you know, your big homie said that's an enemy, so that's your enemy. And You don't like this hat. You don't yeah, like that <laughs> this color. area. Yeah, yeah. you know. There's this area where all these people are renting homes. <laughs> Just like you're renting homes in your own area, no one owns nothing, mm -hmm. but you don't like those renters over there. You know, you see how crazy it sounds once you start saying it out loud? Yeah. And, but, but Big U actually got these guys together talking. I saw the video of it, I'm like, this is, this is pretty big for LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because like we had mentioned before, that Rolling 60s a Trey Gangster War, he said separated the gangs of LA. Crippen started in 60, in, in 69. This is when they say the C was born. Mm -hmm. The C was born in 69, but in 79, the C was, was split up. And more than, it's, more than it was a beef with the Rolling 60s and the A-Trey Gangsters, it split up LA. Yeah. Like when, when the Rolling 60s and the A-Trey Gangsters started fighting, it split, it split LA in half. Right, because was that the first time that there was like a Crip on Crip that war? Was the first Before time then, ever. it was just Crips Bloods, but this is the Crips first time Bloods, that an inner right. Crip war. And it really, out. and really, uh, um, to my knowledge, it probably hadn't even been like three, four murders or three, four, you know, um, really killings at all between Crips and Blood, between Crips and Bloods up until '79. Well, Bloods kind of like filtered into it from personal allegiances with individuals and then yeah. they would hang out in each other's hoods and you know they would kind of like be cool with different gangs but they they weren't a part of it. it was like you know the side switch with you know you either went with the gangsters or the neighborhoods that's pretty much how it went if you were an LA gang was know. was uh the insane crips part of any of that not at all. We from Long Beach. So, so you guys say that's no, that's y'all. Long Beach, yeah, exactly. <laughs> y'all go, we, go. Yeah, we we, we yeah. <laughs> and that's why I give them props and shout them out for what they doing right now. You know, because they got to get themselves together. You know what I mean? It got to start from within. It got you know, can't no celebrity or you know athlete or actor or nothing come in and put this together. They have to want to do it, and they want to do it. They've been wanting to do it for a long time because. You know, who don't want to have fun and laugh and barbecue and all that, you know? So yeah. now that they taking, you know, now they taking effective action and making it happen, I salute that, I applaud that, you know, and, you know, we got some things down in Long Beach that we need to tighten up on and, you know, God willing, we'll get to that real soon. Well, you know, I mean, I know my personal experience, you know, for everyone that's, you know, and I, I'm not from that gang life at all, but yeah. I think that both sides, if they really took one moment and said, part of the reason why I have a problem with this other set is some shit that they did themselves as well. You know what I mean? No one has their hands completely clean in this situation. Mm -hmm. Start thinking where, what the mistakes you've made and that'll make you less angry at what the other side did as well. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot kind of self-healing. Self-healing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I went through some of that myself. 
recently and it really helped out with people that I hated for many years, some of which aren't even alive. <laughs> right, right. You know, <laughs> everyone hates somebody. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Yeah, the look, the look was like <laughs> you thought about it. Like I thought about it for a second. Like yeah. <laughs>